Hey, what's going on? This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about a particular topic or a question that I get asked all the time. Hey, we're having a musician, uh, either a violinist or a vitamin string quartet. I don't think that we need a DJ for our ceremony, uh, but we still want one for the dance party. Can you help us out? Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about uh, the questions that I get asked about. Hey, we're gonna have live music during our ceremony. I don't think that we need a DJ. And every time that I get asked this question, it all comes back to the same answer. Yeah, we really do need to have a DJ. Now, it doesn't necessarily need to be a DJ, but you have to have mic and sound support for your ceremony. Now, you're gonna to have to have microphones for the officiant, we also need to have a microphone uh, for the groom and a way to pick up the bride's audio. And then most times we need to have a microphone, whether that's somebody playing a violin, somebody playing a guitar, or even a vitamin string quartet. They're gonna have certain uh, pieces of equipment that they're gonna require, whether they bring them themselves or the AV company or the DJ is gonna provide those pieces of equipment so that we could pick up their voice and also pick up your guys' voices so everybody can hear what's being said. <laughs> Beth Castelluccio said, I was friends with both of them individually before they became a couple. It's been refreshing to see everything change and nothing change. Now, usually a ceremony is usually between 50 to about 300 people. And depending on how many people, this is dramatically gonna affect our setup. So usually with our company, any ceremony that has more than 100 people, we need to add a second speaker so that way everybody can hear correctly. If it's just you two speaking up there, depending on how windy it is, how much road noise there is, people outside of the first couple rows are gonna have a hard time hearing you if you don't have uh, microphone support. Now this can either be two lapel mics, uh, a handheld microphone, or a combination of both when you guys are speaking. It really just depends on how many different people are speaking and what all we have going on for the ceremony. Now when it comes to miking up the live musicians, we usually like to have a meeting with them or a phone call, figure out, hey, what type of microphones do you need? Are you plugging in the instrument directly? Do you need phantom power? Do you need a monitor? These are all questions that we can communicate with the people that are gonna be doing the performance so that we can make sure that we have all their needs because they have certain requirements depending on what instruments they're playing, whether they need a vocal mic or a musical mic that is specific for their musical instrument. And so these are all things that we like to cover in our consultation meeting. Now, usually through the course of a summer wedding season, we usually have about 20 to 30 weddings that we perform at that we are not doing the music because they have live performers. Now, sometimes it can be a combination of both where the bride has the wedding party and the song that she's walking down the aisle is gonna be through live musicians where they need us to play the exit song and then also some background music before the musicians in place to play the song. So it can be a combination of both or the live musician can handle all the music where we just need to cover the microphones for the live musician and for the officiant and the bride and groom so everybody can hear correctly. There's nothing worse being at a wedding ceremony where you're sitting there in silence because you can't understand or make out what the bride and groom are saying. I, Jeremy, give you Hannah this ring. I, Jeremy, give you Hannah this ring. As a symbol of my commitment to love, honor, and respect you. As a symbol of my commitment to love, honor, and respect you. Now with our company, we use a digital mixer that's used for bands. So we have the ability to EQ out all the wind noise from the microphones, make sure that it sounds good. It's not harsh on anybody's ears. Um, we have these nice satellite speakers that we send up nice, they're nice and light, so we can send them up nice and high. And we want it to be a pleasant experience where it's not too loud and also everybody can hear the musical instruments and what you guys are saying during your speeches and vows. Now our ceremony setup is completely separate from the reception setup, even if it's in the same location. We have a separate setup. It also creates a backup gear just in case anything goes wrong. But we'll come out with a mixer. We're gonna have two microphones, which is standard, whether that's be two lapels or two handheld microphones. 
Um, but in our consultation, we'll find out if you guys have uh, somebody doing a speech, um, if you guys need multiple microphones, how many people are singing, musical instruments. Those are all things that we can cover, but this falls outside of a basic ceremony package. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have any more questions about wedding ceremonies and how we perform them, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you guys.